Dear esteemed ladies and colleagues, entire membership of this council, I bring you greetings from the entire membership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Northern Nigeria Union Conference. To God be the glory for sparing our lives to witness yet another year-end council of 2023. My heart is filled with gratitude for the extraordinary journey we have undertaken over the past five years, particularly in Northern Nigerian Union Conference. Despite challenges, we have continued to witness the unwavering hand of God guiding our part. This year, 2023 year-end meeting is not just another opportunity to reflect on our achievements, but also to acknowledge the divine intervention that have marked our endeavors. For us in Northern Nigeria Union Conference, our hearts and minds are open to the blessings of the past and the opportunities of the future. Like the previous years, the year 2023 is quite transformative as the Lord inspired us for deeper mission in our territory. Very remarkable among them is the Adventist World Radio Listeners Conventions. The first of its kind were Central African Division of the Seventh Adventist Church. Without much ado, take a look at some of the mission activities and events that shape the year 2023 for us in Northern Nigerian Union Conference. While the multiple layers of security challenges orchestrated by evil-minded elements have remained unabated in Northern Nigeria, the Seventh-day Adventist Church Northern Nigeria Union Conference under the leadership of Pastor Johanna Harry has remained courageous in the face of uncertainties giving the message of the Lord wings, liberating souls from the kingdom of darkness into God's kingdom of light through mission refocusing strategies. This is not just in obedience to the World Church Directive but in conformity with the Union's desire to propagate the everlasting gospel across northern Nigeria as well as expand her frontiers using every justifiable means. The decision to refocus for mission became very necessary after celebrating 90 years, 1932 to 2022, of Adventism in northern Nigeria. The 90 years anniversary was commemorated on the 21st of December to 24, 2022 at Jingiri, Plateau State with Pastor P.O. Mensa from Ghana as guest speaker. It is 90 years of God's faithfulness. A historic moment reviewing the past and present with a futuristic perspective of the Seventh-day Adventist mission in a 21st century in northern Nigeria. It is pleasant to note that Advent message is steadily penetrating Muslim communities in northern Nigeria. For example, the last year's December 2022 camp meeting had all converts from Muslim background in all the seven states in northwest Nigeria gathered at Sati. Ismila local government area of Kanu state for a spirit-filled and life-changing convocation with God. In their local dialects, they sang praises to God and also had in-depth Bible studies at the camp meeting. <laughs> Away from the camp meetings, the beginning of the year 2023 was anchored on prayers as the Union joined her counterparts across the world to observe the 10 days of prayer and fasting held the 11th of January to 21st, 2023 with the theme, Back to the Altar, with the 10 days of prayer, programs and activities of the Union for the year were equally committed to God for fruitful implementation and execution. Among the mission activities and events carried out within the period under review include but not limited to the followings. The month of January witnessed the retirement prayer and thanksgiving service in honor of Pastor and Mrs. Herona Stephen Bindus, one of the illustrious ministers of the gospel in northern Nigeria, a pioneer president, Northern Nigeria Union Conference. The event, held at Seventh-day Adventist Church, Jingiri Mission. Plateau State on the 27th of January, 2023 had in attendance, church leaders, members, friends and associates including Elder Abraham Bakary, Communication Director, West Central Africa Division. Upon retirement, Pastor Bindus was one of the Vice Presidents, West Central Africa Division of the Church and also served as the WAD Director, 
Family Life and Adventist Possibility Ministries formerly known as Special Needs Ministries Global Youth Day 2023. Since 2013, the Global Youth Day event has remained a powerful platform to mobilize young people for community impact service and sharing of the everlasting gospel. In Northern Nigeria Union Conference, 2023 Global Youth and Children's Day celebrated on the 18th of March came with a lot of inspirational programs which anchored on love as a verb. As such, young people of Adventist extraction across the Union gave the message of the Lord wings through their various acts of kindness. They visited orphanage homes, communities and IDP camps, offering humanitarian services including free medical care. The beneficiaries were full of gratitude, including all, excluding none. That is the spirit as far as Adventist Possibility Ministries is concerned in Northern Nigeria Union Conference. Take for instance, on the 17th to 20th of November 2022, the Union through one of her local conferences, North Central Nigeria Conference, had a gathering of over 93 persons with special needs for a maiden convention in Abuja. One of the highlights of the convention was the humanitarian support rendered to the participants, which included foodstuffs, wrappers, writing aid, and cash donations among others. Also, there was a donation of wheelchairs for those in need of mobility and white canes for the visually impaired persons. At the heart of this ministry is the conviction that all have something to contribute and by contributing they have entered the journey towards wholeness. They are gifted and talented. Just as celebrated in Northern Nigeria Union Conference on the 22nd of April, 2023, Every Possibility Ministries Awareness Day commemoration is a clarion call to recognize and respect the dignity of persons with special needs as well as support them to achieve their potential and in turn contribute to the gospel ministry in every way possible. Another event carried out within the mid-year was the NNUC Ministerial Retreat. Northern Nigeria Union Conference Ministerial Council organized a five-day retreat for the ministers held at Jingiri, Plateau State on the 12th of April to 16th. 2023. Over 380 Adventist pastors, pioneers and their wives were in attendance. Call to serve was the theme. The retreat x-rayed contemporary issues affecting pastoral ministry and encouraged ministers and their spouses to be spiritually minded, embrace honesty, develop team spirit among other virtues for effective pastoral ministry that will ultimately lead people to Jesus Christ. Adventist Young Missionary Volunteers the NNUC administration is currently harnessing Adventist young people who are digitally minded and willing to volunteer for missionary work. This is in line with the ongoing WAD campaign for 1000 Adventist young missionary volunteers, which was launched in Northern Nigeria Union Conference on the 16th of November, 2022 by the WAD leadership. It is the desire of the NNUC administration to bring Adventist Young Missionary Volunteers Project to limelight the same way it succeeded in one year in mission initiative. Another historic event that shaped the year 2023 for the church in northern Nigeria is the Adventist World Radio Listeners Convention. In line with the mission refocusing of the World Church, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Northern Nigeria celebrated Adventist World Radio listeners within the northwest and northeastern part of Nigeria within the period under review. Precisely on the 31st of May to the 3rd of June, 2023, over 1,327 Adventist World Radio listeners drawn from Kano and Katsina states in northwest Nigeria gathered at Nitel Training Center. Kano State for a convention. Adventist World Radio is a huge blessing to our mission and our expansion and our commission of the gospel ministries in our conference. The AWR listeners were visibly happy for the gathering. Talking points, which made the convention unavoidably interactive centered on contemporary health messages, family matters, the true God, the peculiarity of Jesus, 
the Sabbath in the Old and New Testament, Jesus in all the scriptures and sharing as he shared among others. While appreciating the listeners for their commitment to Adventist World Radio, Pastor Harry however, encouraged them to continually follow the word of God by living exemplary life in their homes and communities. The teeming listeners were gifted with clothes, shoes and food items, among others. On the 14th of June through 17th, 2023, the AWR Listeners Convention train navigated to northeast Nigeria. As such, Makwada Square in Newman, Adamal State was agog with the presence of over 635 participants who converged for the AWR Listeners Convention organized for the northeast region. <laughs> Adventist World Radio has done a lot because uh, even though some of the listeners before now couldn't identify what Adventist World Radio is and what Seventh-day Adventist Church is, but at this convention, all of them come to know that Adventist World Radio belongs to the Seventh-day Adventist Church and many of them accepted the message. So I want to appreciate God as the president of this conference and appreciate the management of Adventist World Radio for the good work they are doing. They are broadcasting the message online and we are on the ground to harvest what they are doing so to god be the glory for this great initiative throughout the period the atmosphere within makwada square was saturated with organic joy as many of the listeners who had eagerly waited for such a time to interact physically with the adventist world radio church shared their testimonies healthy lifestyle family life relationships between christians and muslims were among the many issues discussed at the convention Pastor Harry, in his message admonished AWR listeners and church members alike to be rooted in God and be mindful of traditions of men, which are full of deceit. Over 100 AWR solar-powered transistor radios were shared to some of the participants. The teeming listeners were also gifted with assorted clothes and wrappers. To the glory of God, the AWR listeners convention at Northwest and Northeast Nigeria yielded altogether over 75 baptisms excluding the ones recorded during the pre-convention evangelism conducted within communities across the two centers. These people baptize, and many of them that are coming, they need places of worship. They need pastors to nurture them. And all this is calling for resource, financial resources. Definitely we have to team up with the division, the, the world church, to come to these places. And most of these places who have gone, Kano, and uh, far northeast, there are places that are not easily penetrated by public campaign. Definitely, as you know, my union falls under the 1014 window. Defi very difficult to penetrate. It's an Islamic dominated territory. And one culture is in this territory. You cannot separate uh, my people in the north with the transistor radio to listen to news all over the place. So God has provided this avenue in order for us to, to reach out. It's a very simple way of reaching out to the rich, where you cannot go, where books cannot even go. Radio will enter. Even if you are in the bush, the flan man travels his radio when he is uh, taking care of his cattle in the bush and he listens to this news. And definitely, we will not relent in this effort until we see the gospel message, the three angel messages have gone to nook and corner of our territory. From the 23rd to 27th of August 2023, members of Adventist Men Organization, Northern Nigeria Union Conference gathered in the beautiful landscape of Buchan Academy, Dweidu, Joe's, Plateau State for a transformative convention. The participants numbering over 2,000 were drawn from the three local conferences that constitute Northern Nigeria Union Conference that is North Central, Northeast and Northwest Nigeria. 
The convention aimed at refocusing Adventist men on the essence of mission work, equipping them with effective strategies to spread the gospel and address the specific needs of their respective communities within northern Nigeria. With the theme refocusing for mission, the Adventist men who attended the convention experienced a profound spiritual renewal, deepening their connection with their faith and mission. They also gained practical skills and knowledge to lead effectively and engage in meaningful community initiatives. The NNUC Adventist Men Organization Convention came to a remarkable end as over 135 souls accepted Christ as their Lord and personal Savior through the ordinance of baptism. Away from the Adventist Men's Convention, in the heart of Akwanga, Nasa or State, a vibrant spiritual gathering took place from the 29th of August to the 3rd of September, 2023. The occasion was the Youth Congress organized by the Adventist Youth Ministries of Northern Nigeria Union Conference. The Youth Congress was more than just a congregation, it was a journey into the depths of faith and a profound exploration of spirituality. The theme, Remember Now Thy Creator reverberated through the air, reminding young people of the importance of spiritual connection in the fast-paced, modern world. Throughout the week, young minds delved into the essence of this theme, seeking understanding and embracing their faith in profound ways. The Youth Congress was a testament to the unwavering faith and dedication of the young generation within the Seventh-day Adventist community in northern Nigeria. In the serene ambience of Akwanga, 18 souls chose to symbolize their spiritual journeys through baptism a powerful declaration of their commitment to their faith. Against the backdrop of the theme, Remember Now Thy Creator, these baptisms echoed the essence of the event to profound remembrance and reconnection with the Creator. Reporting on church growth, there is no gain denying the fact that God has been faithful and His newness of mercy upon Northern Nigeria Union Conference is unimaginable. Yes, in the midst of pain and trials, the Advent message is spreading. From north central to northeast, stretching to northwest region in northern Nigeria, many people who walked in darkness are seeing a great light due to concerted efforts the church is making with regards to evangelism. As a result, souls are being converted with attendant baptisms. As such, 2,555 baptisms were recorded from fourth quarter of 2022 to the 30th of September. 2023 bringing the total membership of the church in northern Nigeria to 57,040 as at the 30th of September, 2023 while the total number of ACMS captured is 50,011. The number of organized churches in NNUC within the period under review is 309 and 399 companies. The NNUC financial indicators as at September. 2023 are captured as follows. In Northern Nigeria Union Conference, we are confident of achieving sustainable growth guided by faithful stewardship. My fellow believers, that has been the summary report of the Northern Nigeria Union Conference mission story for the year 2023. We are sincerely grateful to God for his leading power. Permit me to also extend our heartfelt gratitude to the leadership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church at the General Conference level and the Central African Division. Evidently, your prayers, guidance, and unwavering support have been our pillars of strength. To my officers, the executive committee, and entire membership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Northern Nigeria. I cannot thank you enough for the unity of purpose that has never eluded us all these years. It is my prayer that as we move 
forward, we shall continue to trust in God's providence and work unitedly toward our shared mission. May God continue to bless our endeavors, our church, and our shared journey of faith. Thank you, and may we all be inspired to reach greater heights in the years to come. Amen.